So if your PlayStation also gets stuck on the PlayStation logo, you just need to do what I'm going to tell you. So start by removing the top cover and exposing our laser. So the console has to be on, so make sure to be careful with the exposed PSU. And with the multimeter, set it on the resistance mode and then use your probes on the top pin and on the bottom right pin of the laser assembly where you have a small screw and then just measure what's the resistance. In this case it's 903 kilo ohms. So in order to adjust the laser power what you'll need is just a precision screw driver to help you turn the little screw that is in between the two pins and you turn it just a little bit clockwise in order for us to adjust the resistance on the laser just like so as I am doing here I just had to change the tips and we take a new measure also top pin and bottom right pin and we'll see if it changes it did change 1171 ohms so let's give it a shot and see if this fixed the issue It did not, so let's give it another go and readjust the resistance on the laser. So here the same thing, I will zoom a little bit in so you can see exactly where you need to go. That's the little screw that you need to tighten or loosen depending on what resistance you are on and just give it a little little turn just like so in this case I need to turn it counterclockwise and we will measure it again please beware not to turn it a lot because you may burn the laser if you give it too much power so always make sure that you are somewhere between 1300 and 700 kilo ohms so this is now on 1350 let's lower it a little bit at around 1200 so it just give it a little little turn so we can go and test if it's the resistance that we want So we now have 1200, let's try and do a test to see if it rolls the game. So let's see what happens, it's taking quite a bit 
And there we go. So, if you like the video, leave it a like, subscribe the channel, and I'll see you on the next video.